Hello YouTube, so today I am going to speak about my OM606 uh, cooling stack. Uh, so I have four radiators, they are located uh, here at the very front of my uh, G-Wagon. Uh, not a surprise. Uh, so I will start with this uh, small one, uh, which is uh, uh, already mounted. Uh, this is uh, oil uh, cooler. It is mounted to front bottom cross member just by welding in some very simple mounts. It is just little above front bumper hidden behind winch. Usually I observe temperature between 90 and 100 degrees Celsius when G-Wagon is fully loaded for trip. It is connected with oil filter base with two AN10 Fragola hoses using 90 degree low profile Fragola fittings. With engine coolant radiator it is different and longer story. There is much more to say. My factory cooler from Bear left its best times behind and new one is expensive. In Poland there is company specialized in manufacturing coolers for basically everything. I ordered one for my G-Wagon. It is made out of aluminum. Its dimensions and mounts are exactly the same as factory one except it is thicker. With this shroud it's always a little pain, but it has tabs at the bottom, like those two. So there are basically six mounting points, two at the bottom, um, two at the side, more bottom than center, and then two over here and also one here at the top that looks like this basically. Okay. All right, there's also one thing that I wanted uh, to do out of my own curiosity is to measure the capacity uh, difference between these two radiators. So I'm going to measure, let's say, one liter. Okay, right here. First bucket. This is going to be second bucket. Third liter. Fourth liter. Now I'm going to pour it slowly. Alright, so the radiator is full now. First bucket, new radiator. Second bucket. Third bucket, fourth bucket, and now it is going to be fifth bucket, sixth bucket, okay. I'm not going to undo this. There is no force on the planet Earth that could undo this bolt.
Factory radiator has one great little feature. It has some small valve at the bottom to drain down all the engine coolant. This is something I long wanted to add. So this is my aluminum skid plate or steering bar protection, however it can be called, uh, named. So like this I think there is no going to be any surprises. And if I would do this at the bottom, I would have a collision with this skid plate. So it wouldn't be the greatest. So I think I will weld it in the front. So I will be still lower um, than the uh, bottom connection. Uh, with the engine hose. Yes. So it looks like all debris is out. All right, so it looks very clean to me inside. So now it is blinded uh, at behind and I am going to apply like one bar of pressure, not more. Um, and let's see. Okay, looks good. Okay. That's great. One bar, so it's roughly, I don't know, maybe 12 PSI inside of this radiator um, via this regulator. While paint cures, I need to assemble some parts at front.
Now the shroud. So this is the ring that goes um, first um, and you put it on a fan because there is very less space between the radiator and the fan. Then you put this inside like so um, and then this ring locks like so on this main part. So this is some sort of a puzzle and the task is uh, much uh, tougher because this radiator is thicker than a factory one. This little plastic piece prevents from rotating a ring from the main shroud. So the intercooler is the missing piece between left and right piping system. Air piping system. This is rather easy. Okay, so two bolts at the top. Okay, and two um, bolts at the bottom, which is rather easy task. Last radiator made out of aluminum uh, from a newer uh, model. Um, it is for the power uh, steering. Um, so I just gave it a small modification of this uh, mount and I fix it like so. My factory one was in a very bad condition, um, so I had to replace it with this one. And the factory uh, from this uh, vehicle was uh, some sort of triangle going down there, so I would have it in conflict uh, with uh, this one. So. This very simple aluminum uh, for the power steering. missing bumper winch and front grille, which is actually not a big deal. Um, you may ask a question finally, like uh, have you done any mm, calculations uh, for these um, coolers? And no, I didn't. I just took my tape measure um, and I knew that I just want to put them in this area. Uh, below the bumper in a G wagon, this is a no-go zone for me for any coolers. Um, so I just did something like um, something like this. Um, so there is like 64, 65 centimeters. Um, then here, round 51. Um, so I divided this somewhere in the middle. I took this Fragola low profile fittings um, So I have half of this space uh, for the oil cooler half of this space uh, for the intercooler and basically everything here um, hides uh, pretty uh, nice behind the grill so I am very happy uh, with this set of four uh, coolers.
I have no issues uh, with overheating. So if you have any questions, please uh, write them down in the comments. Um, and for now, thanks for watching. Thank you.